Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? Okay. So now they just want to simplify this. Now we're gonna now we're going to apply a couple different rules with our exponents. First thing, let's convert this now back to a rational exponent. So therefore we can rewrite this as 64z to the 6 raised to the 1 3rd power, right? Because inside of here, this whole expression is not being raised to a power. Yes, I know 6 is being raised to a power, but not the whole thing is being raised. So it's just going to be raised to the 1 3rd power. Then we need to go back and work on another uh, rule. If I have a times b raised to the m power, that equals a to the m times b to the m. So remember, exponents, we distribute them among multiplication and division. So here, what, this, what we have is 64 to the 1 3rd, and then z to the 6th to the 1 3rd. Right? And we remember this is whenever you have an exponent, um, a to the m times n, that equals a to the m times n. Right? I'm just going through these laws of exp these rules of exponents you guys need to remember. All right. Now, if you have a calculator and you want to do the cube root of 64, that's awesome. Do it. All right? However, if you get a little stuck on the cube root of 64, always try to see, can I rewrite this as a number raised to a power? And what is 64 the same as? You could raise 64 as what? What's another a base raised to an exponent? What could you do? You could do 8 squared. Or you could do 4 cubed. So therefore, when I multiply through, I get 8 to the 2 thirds times z to the 6 halves. Okay, But now we look at this and we're like, well, all right, that you know, see simple, but um, can I rewrite 8 then even simpler? What could I rewrite 8 as? How could you rewrite 8? Could you write 8 as a base of something and raise to an exponent? Two cubed. Two cubed. So then you have to do it again. Right? Which gives you 2 squared equals z. Oh, I'm sorry. 2 squared times z squared, which equals 4z squared. Now let's go back up to this point again to 64. Somebody said 8 squared, which is right. But then you need to keep on simplifying it, though, further. You always want to look at what would be the largest number. And somebody else said we could always write it to, what else? You could also do 4 cubed, right? So let's, let's look at what if I would have done 4 cubed rather than 8 squared. They're both correct. But what I notice is when I do 4 cubed, I'm just left with 4 z squared. Okay. So just remember, if you do it once, Double check, can you rewrite your next answer in a more simplified fashion? If you can, you have to do it. All right? Some of you might pick the right number, though, right from the bat, and you won't have to do it. Can, and you know, obviously, you can write that as 2 squared, but are you simple? is it 2 squared raised to anything else? You're not simplifying it by rewriting 4 as 2 squared. Yes? Right, I'm just saying, you also could have just taken 64 cube rooted, and you would have gotten 4. Same thing. I'm just saying, I rewrote that as 4 cubed, so you can see that the 4 cubed and the 1 third cancel out, just leaving you with 4. Okay. So I was just showing you guys a, pretty much a different way to attack. Okay. So.